Hello everyone, it's Kieran, and today we're going to be reading a story that is a favourite in S7, and it's Hansel and Gretel. Once upon a time, there lived two children called Hansel and Gretel. They lived with their father and stepmother in a house in the woods. Their father was a woodcutter. The woodcutter was very poor. He could no longer provide food for his family. One night, his wife suggested that they take the children into the forest and leave them there. Hansel and Gretel overheard what their stepmother had said. They were very sad. Hansel crept outside and found some white pebbles. They shone brightly in the moonlight. He filled his pockets with the pebbles and crept back inside. The next morning, they all went for a walk in the forest. As they walked, Hansel dropped the pebbles along the path. They went further and further into the forest. Hansel and Gretel grew tired, so the woodcutter made a fire and told them to rest here. When they awoke, they were all alone, but Hansel's plan had worked. They could follow the stones all the way home. When they arrived home, the woodcutter was overjoyed. However, their stepmother was very cross. Later that night, she told the woodcutter that he must get rid of the children again. The next day, the stepmother gave Hansel and Gretel two slices of bread for their breakfast. They set out into the forest again. This time, they walked a lot further into the heart of the forest. As they walked along, Hansel dropped breadcrumbs along the path. When the children were tired, the woodcutter told them to gather wood so that he could build them a fire. He told them to rest by the fire and once again they fell asleep. When they awoke, they found themselves alone again. Hansel was not worried. He told Gretel about the breadcrumbs, but when they looked along the path, they found that they'd been eaten by the birds and animals in the forest. Hansel and Gretel walked and walked through the forest. Eventually, they came across an amazing house. It was made of gingerbread and decorated with sweets, icing and lollipops. Hansel and Gretel began to eat the sweets. Then all of a sudden, an old woman came out of the gingerbread house. She invited them both inside. But once the children were inside, they found that the old woman was very cruel. She locked Hansel in a cage. She wanted to fatten him up and eat him. One day, the old woman showed Gretel the oven where she was going to cook Hansel. Gretel decided to trick the old woman. She told her that Hansel was too big to fit in the oven. The old woman leaned forward to take a closer look and Gretel pushed her straight into the oven. Next, Gretel found the key to the cage and unlocked it so that Hansel could get out. They were overjoyed. Before leaving, Hansel and Gretel had a look around the gingerbread house they found a chest full of gold coins. They decided to bring the chest home with them. After a long walk through the forest, Hansel and Gretel eventually found a path they recognised. They ran excitedly along the path and finally saw their home in the distance. There, outside the cottage, was their father. Their stepmother had gone. Now they had enough riches to last them a lifetime and they would never be hungry again. And the three of them lived happily ever after. If you enjoyed this story, here's an activity you can do at home. In the story, Hansel used different things he found, like pebbles and breadcrumbs, to make a path. You can make your own trail and path using things around your house, like blocks and toys. And maybe even put some treasure at the end for someone to find. Have fun! <laughs>